This is bus security footage recorded on March 18th. It shows bus aide Kiara Jones of Littleton Schools next to a 10-year-old boy named Dax. Dax is nonverbal and has special needs. Suddenly, Jones starts hitting Dax on the body, on the face with her hand, and elbow. Then she appears to stomp on his foot. Dax's mother noticed bruising on his foot and alerted the school district, which in turn notified Inglewood police. After reviewing video, police arrested Jones, who was 29 years old, on suspicion of felony assault. If I could say one thing to Littleton Public Schools, it would be, how dare you? How dare you fail my son in such an astonishing, preventable way? Dax's parents spoke during a press conference with their attorneys. They say they did not want their son's face blurred so the public could see the harsh reality of what happened. My sweet and loving son. Two other families spoke, saying Inglewood police have identified their children as abuse victims, with more videos yet to be publicly seen. All the families say they've been raising concerns about injuries to their children for months since at least September of last year. They accuse Littleton schools of repeatedly dismissing concerns. Countless bruises, countless scratches, countless injuries, which we had no explanation for and seem to fall on deaf ears. Families believe their children have been tortured for months on the bus and because all are nonverbal, they couldn't say anything about it. The most vulnerable children in our society, beaten, tortured, mentally and physically, because Littleton Public Schools failed to do job number one.